Hi, I am Carolyn Crendel, the Chief Deception Officer for Ativo Networks, and I am here at RSA Conference 2018 with Tony Cole, the Chief Technology Officer for Ativo Networks. So, you have been coming to this event for over 20 years. What are you time. most excited about seeing here today? It's not the Twitter feed of parties, I will tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, for RSA, it's, it's always exciting. You know, every year the crowds get larger, there's more vendors here, and it's always fun to walk around and see what the new technologies are versus what the new marketing hype is. So, and, and we do see a lot of marketing hype here. You know, one company is successful with threat intelligence, and next year there's 100 companies that all say threat intelligence on their boots. So, so it's important for for people to look, you know, very carefully at, at what capabilities a company has that they're actually talking to. But this has grown dramatically, and there's lots of real cool new technology we see here each year. I think some of the things that are going to make it very interesting, obviously, is you know the rise in deception technology, balancing that equation where more people are moving to the detection side versus the prevention side. Uh, we'll see some interesting stuff today uh, or over the week. So around artificial intelligence, around threat intelligence. Uh, active cyber defense, uh, some structure for allowing people to hack back, so which is kind of a, a gray, dangerous area, at least yeah. in the United States and many <laughs> other uh, democracies. So, um, but it's it's very, very fascinating to see some of the pieces coming out. We're also going to see a lot of orchestration this year as well. Yep, there's been a lot going on in that uh, in that arena as well. So you're here representing Ativo Networks at the event. Um, what are your goals? What would you like to uh, to achieve between your dialogue with the prospects and companies that are are here today? So I'll tell you, one of the most important things for me is to get people to understand that one deception is critically important for them to put in place to shrink the dwell time, and then two that it's not difficult to manage or implement you know, inside their environment. It's, it's pretty easy to do that, so uh, simply because it do doesn't touch the production assets in an environment, so mm -hmm. makes a CIO and CISO typically more comfortable. Uh, the other piece is actually continuing to monitor the industry across the board to look to see what new technologies are coming out, so and it helps us look at our own selves, you know, kind of an introspective view where we're trying to ascertain, are we doing all the right things as a company? So, and that's really important to me for our strategy strategy and vision to make sure we're continuously moving forward and always solving problems for our customers because that brings us more customers. Yep, great, fantastic. So one last question for you. What uh, words of advice do you have for the uh, CISOs that are in the audience today? Well, it's really important to make sure that when you look at your potential vendors that they're coming to you and they're solving a problem for you and they're doing that from a continuous process versus actually selling you a technology and then walking away. And that's a problem you have with a lot of the brand new vendors when they come out. You know, they'll sell you a product and then they're moving on and they're trying to actually sell that product to, you know, another 50 companies that year versus actually building a partnership with you to ensure that technology is implemented and continuously solving your problems so that down the line, you know, two, three, four years later, you know, you're still in a great relationship with them mm -hmm. because you're continuing to make their lives easier, you know, and you're not out there just trying to actually collect a paycheck for a renewal. So it's important to understand the vendor's capabilities, their backgrounds, and who their current customers are. So look to those referenceable customers as well. Great, great words of advice there. So Ativo Networks is displaying down in the South Hall. I understand you've got a very interesting Hall of Mirrors experience and booth that is there. So um, any last words for telling people why they might want to come by and take a look at that? Well, number one, uh, I think the Hall of Mirrors, brilliant idea. So uh, I, I've never seen a Hall of Mirrors done before at a conference, so fantastic. So come down and see us and understand why it's applicable to the deception space, and then come learn about you know, what we're doing in the deception space, and un start to understand why it should be important to you for your strategy in 2018 as the adversaries continue to evolve and get better and better and better. All right. So, and I look forward to seeing you down at the booth. Excellent, well thank you very much Tony for joining us today. I look forward to seeing everybody on the show floor. Everybody have a wonderful day and enjoy the event. Thank you.